And I say this to Mr. Trump, and I want this message to get to his ears. Yeah, I send it to him. Mr. Trump, if you don't hold on to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you cannot do anything. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. And what happened with that assassination attempt, when they said it was, it was divine intervention, you should say, not I guess, you should say, definitely was the Lord Jesus. That's how you should talk. I was not happy with I guess. You need to speak boldly. You need to speak firm because you, 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 you belong to the King of Kings. What are you afraid of? People won't vote for you. Listen, everyone is in the hand of Christ. Everyone, when you give your life for Christ, the Lord will make sure everybody bows before you. But if you become a hypocrite, thinking that I'm going to win some votes here and some votes there and I'll start talking nonsense, Christ will not be happy. It was the Lord Jesus who saved you. And it is your last chance, my dear President Trump, to be with the Lord. Give America to Jesus Christ. And please, next time when you're in the White House, by the grace of the Lord Jesus, when you stand and address the nation, don't say, God bless America. Say, Jesus Christ, who is God revealed in the flesh, in the flesh bless America. You need to specify which God. And you don't bring anyone else to say a prayer. Reaching out to their own false gods. When you have the true divine God, there is no place for other false gods. God is one. Can't be two, three, four, and five. There is only one way to God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Period.